Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. Hope everyone's having a great day in our beautiful King Yeshua HaMashiach. Today I will be reading um, James 3 to go along with the word I received on 8 August uh, 2015. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great, and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind but the tongue can no more can no man tame it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison therewith bless we God even the Father and therewith curse we men which are made after the similitude of God out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing my brethren these things ought not so to be Doth they fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either of vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. There are also several more uh, scriptures. There's Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Ephesians 4.29 Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Matthew 15:18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. Proverbs 12:18. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is help. Matthew 12:36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Let us praise our wonderful and glorious God. Father God Almighty, how I praise you and worship you and lift your name up and exalt you. Hallelujah. To the one and only true God. Amen and Amen. I received this word on 8 August 2015 at 9.32 a.m. Daughter, write my words for those that have ears to hear and eyes to see. Children, it is becoming so apparent to me that some of you do not fully understand the consequences of your actions. Do you know how hurtful you can be to other people? Words are powerful, my faithful. Whether they are good or bad, if you speak, it is out there in the spirit world. The evil spirits feed on negativity, my children. 
It is not of me when my children, who call themselves mine, lash out at each other because of something not even important about salvation. My children, I would that you drop all of your opinions about doctrine and view my holy word as it is. Seek the Holy Spirit for divine revelation as you read, for you cannot clearly discern what my scriptures say without him leading you and teaching you God's way. My holy word is profitable for all manner of living. Seek and you shall find, my love. It pains me terribly to see my bride picking apart each other when they should be lifting each other up. This world is growing increasingly dark and it is getting harder and harder for my bride. That is why you need to be one in me, my bride. Don't break each other down. Encourage your fellow brother or sister through me and my holy words. Conjecture has no place in my faithful, for they should be praying directly to me for their questions. I will provide answers to them, one way or another. Stay focused on me, my beautiful bride. Listen to what I tell you. I will lead you to my peace and my love and my narrow, narrow, narrow path to glory. My bride has noticed how tough the atmosphere is now. It is filled with evil, but my light shines through, and the darkness cannot stand my light. Children, continue to praise and worship me in whatever you do. I inhabit the happy and cheerful praises of my faithful. Love your faithful king, Yeshua HaMashiach.